Welcome to the first episode of Mini News Update. We're going to start small and hopefully grow over time and uh, just be a great resource to the gaming community. A lot of great websites out there if you're interested in wargaming news on a day to day basis, but we hope to give you a, a weekly recap of what's going on. I highly recommend the Miniatures page. A great website, been around for a long time. Check them out. So let's move right into the news. From Black Hat Miniatures, the next release in their Shattered Isles fantasy range. Five packs of Highland Dwarves with an arrangement of weapons. Gunners, pole arms, swords, a command, as well as little creatures called Haggises with herders. These are sculpted by Wiffwaff. The Haggises are sculpted by Mark Sims. Each pack will run five pounds and contain four figures, or three command, or one herder, and four different Haggises. From Dark Age Games, new addition to the Brood, Lashers. Blisters will contain two models and retail for $14.99. They have a great look to them and would be usable in many other games out there. From Pig Iron Productions, the latest addition to their Feral range, Special Weapons. This pack will feature Sniper, Heavy Gunner, Flamethrower, and RPG. It will also include a new set of heads to give them plenty of variety. The September 2009 issue of Fictional Reality is available for download now. A lot of great miniature reviews in there, game reviews, some good battle reports for Warhammer and Warlord, a painting article, and an army building article for the Dravani in Resolution. Well worth it, free, what have you got to lose? From Ground Zero Games, more sci-fi models in 15mm scale. There's droned robots, remote controlled vehicles, as well as heavy support weapons teams. There's also alien mercenaries. This is the second pack they've released. All packs are two and a half pounds, with the alien mercenary packs being five pounds. They're available from the online store now, so go at it. They're pretty cool. Dragon Blood Miniatures has two great looking concept art pieces out. Concept art is by Melvin DeVore and Kenan James. The Cephala Telepath has a green that's been sculpted by Bob Ollie, and it's looking good. If you want more greens and concept art, visit the Dragonblood website. Warlord Games has a new release, Plastic Imperial Roman Auxiliaries. They're now for sale. The models are single-piece bodies with separate heads, arms, weapons, and shields. They look great when painted up, and the box includes enough water slide transfers to detail all the shields in the unit. Perry Miniatures has an update on their War of the Roses line. The molds are being tooled at this moment, and they'll be available for Christmas this year. The box will contain 40 figures of Bowman and Billman, and you'll be able to vary the ratio of the two. The pictures here show the resin casts of the original 3-ups. Paper Terrain, best known for their small-scale historical gaming cardstock terrain, moves into a new area, sci-fi, in 28mm scale. They have a new fortification set. Details can be found at their website. And finally, some news from Crocodile Games. On September 5th, 2009, Christopher Fitzpatrick married his lovely bride, Deborah Heath. Congratulations to the both of them. We hope that they'll have a happy, wonderful life together and maybe make uh, miniatures of a different kind in the future. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of Mini News Update. It's only the first, hopefully, of many. And we hope to improve things as we go on. So keep checking back week after week. We should have new episodes posted up on uh, Sundays or Mondays thereabouts. So thanks. Have a great week.